Hi, now this is quite a nice example then on integration and we've got to integrate 12x to the power 5 minus 3x squared plus 4x to the power 3rd all with respect to x and we've got to give each term in its simplest form. So if I was going to integrate this, let's just put our intro down which is going to be the integral then of 12x to the power 5 minus 3x squared plus 4x to the power a third. And we're integrating that then with respect to x. Now each of these terms has the form ax to the power n. Okay, And we should know that if we've got to integrate terms like this, it's very simple. All we do is just add 1 to the power so that's going to be n plus 1 and divide by the new power n plus 1. All right, so this is something that you should be familiar with. So for the first term then, what we get is the 12 and then we add 1 to the power. So we get x to the power 6 and we divide by that new power 6. For the next term, we've got minus 3 add 1 to the power, so it goes up to x to the power 3, x cubed then, and divide by the new power, so that's 3. On to the last term here, we've got plus 4, and then we add 1 to the power, so adding 1 to 1 third is 1 and a third, but try not to write that, we always tend to write them as top heavy fractions, so that's going to be x to the power 4 thirds, and then we divide by that new power, 4 thirds. And what we mustn't forget is the constant of integration, plus c normally, but you can use any letter you like, as long as it's not an x, obviously. Okay, so we need to simplify these terms. Well, for the first one here, we can see that the 6 will cancel into 12 twice. With this term here, 3 goes into 3 once. And for this last term, well, we'll talk about that when we get there. But uh, for the moment, then, the first term becomes 2x to the power 6. Then we've got minus x cubed. Now, when we get down here, what we're going to do is times top and bottom by 3. I'm sure some of you will think, oh, I'll just turn this fraction upside down and then multiply. Well, in a kind of way, you do, but really we should think of times in top and bottom by 3. If we times the top by 3, what we get is 4 times 3, which is 12. And if we times the bottom by 3, 4 thirds times 3 just gives us the 4. All right? And then we've got x to the power 4 thirds, and then plus the constant of integration. But you can see that the 4 goes directly into the 12 three times. So finally then what we've got is 2x to the power 6 minus x cubed plus 3x to the power 4 thirds plus that constant of integration plus c. And that should do us, okay?